Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel. We hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 10 best upcoming 2024 adventure bikes worth to wait first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Why the 2024 BMW M1000XR will be the wildest sports tourer out there. It aims to leave the Ducati Multistrada V4 Pikes Peak in the dust. The M1000XR first made headlines when BMW filed a trademark application for it way back in 2019. Four years later, the Bavarian giant has finally taken the next step and presented the M1000XR prototype for the 2024 model year. It is the third motorcycle in BMW Motorrad's auspicious M lineup, after the WSBK derived M1000RR and the world's most powerful naked, the M1000R. Though the full launch and specifications are still some time away, the official images give away a lot of juicy details about the S1000XR derived model. This, together with some not so subtle remarks from the bike maker, suggests it will be the wildest sports tour out there. Here's all you should know about it. The 2024 BMW M1000XR promises upwards of 200 horsepower. BMW's M badge is only meant for its fastest products, and the M1000XR is no different. The Bavarian giant has confirmed the MXR will boast the 999 cubic centimeters, inline four engine from the S1000RR. It will produce upwards of 200 horsepower which, coupled with its 491-pound curb weight and acropovic titanium can, helps it clock a top speed of 174 miles per hour. For reference, the currently on sale S1000XR produces 165 horsepower, weighs 498 pounds, and comes with an electronically restricted 161 miles per hour top speed. Top speed aside, the increased horsepower will be more usable too, thanks to BMW's shift cam technology. It's the company's jargon for a variable valve timing system fitted with a differential valve lift that helps improve combustion and efficiency. If you've been eagerly awaiting the release of the 2024 BMW R1300GS, then we've got good news for you, because it's finally here. The engine isn't the only thing that's new about this bike, either, as BMW Motorrad basically redesigned the whole concept of its flagship adventure tour from the ground up. The resulting bike weighs a full 26 pounds less than the 2023 R1250GS, says BMW. Let's dive right in, because there's a lot to discuss. The engine. The 2024 BMW R1300GS is powered by a 1300cc air and liquid cool boxer engine with bore and stroke of 106.5mm by 73mm. It makes a claimed 145 horsepower at 7750 rpm alongside 105 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 rpm. It uses BMW shift cam variable valve timing technology, with intake valves that are 44 mm in diameter and exhaust valves that are 35.6 mm in diameter. BMW also concentrated on increasing torque throughout the rev range, specifically focusing on the band between 3,600 and 7,800 rpm. There, it says that over 96 pound-feet of torque is consistently available, resulting in a strong pull throughout that should work well in most riding situations. At the same time, BMW says, it managed to keep fuel consumption comparable to the R1250 GS, it's just using its power more efficiently. 
Top speed is acclaimed 124 miles per hour, and 0 to 62 miles per hour time is listed as 3.39 seconds. With the new engine comes a six-speed gearbox that is now located beneath the engine, rather than behind the engine. This change in packaging allowed BMW to create a more compact unit, as well as focus on lowering the center of gravity and further centralizing mass. The 2024 Honda Transalp is coming to America. The California Air Resources Board has issued an executive order for the Honda XL750 Transalp, certifying the mid-sized adventure tour for the 2024 model year. It's been a big day. Along with this morning's confirmation of the BMW R1300GS, we now see paperwork that confirms the new Honda Transalp is headed to the US market. Motorcycle.com found documents filed with the California Air Resources Board that show the machine will come to America as a 2024 model. That's about all you can learn from the documents, unless you're fascinated by the minute details of emissions testing. But it is the first real confirmation we've had that Honda is bringing the Transalp to North America. We certainly would have expected it, but sometimes these things take longer than you'd think. Now that we see the paperwork, we would expect the bikes to be here later this riding season or early in the 2024 season. What is the Honda Transalp all about? Like the original Transalp model, the new machine appears to be more of a street-oriented adventure bike than the Africa Twin. It is based around the same liquid-cooled 750 Twin that Honda used for the new Hornet. It first officially appeared at the ICMA show in 2022. The new XL750 Transalp is based on a 755cc liquid-cooled parallel twin, with 8-valve head and 270-degree crank. Claimed output is about 90 horsepower at 9,500 rpm and 55 lbft of torque at 7,250 rpm. An assist slipper clutch is standard. A quick shifter is available as an option for the 6-speed gearbox. For 2024, the Touareg 660 looks sexier than ever. There are three new shades on offer namely Atriites Black, Canyon Sand, and Dakar Podium. The first option drapes the ADV in a sinister black livery, while the second one comprises a sandy finish on the bodywork. Both have a red finish for the trellis frame to add a pinch of sportiness. The crown jewel, meanwhile, is the Dakar Podium livery. As the name suggests, it pays homage to Aprilia's third-place finish in the 2010 Dakar Rally, and takes inspiration from the RXV 4.5 race bike. The livery is a blend of white, blue, and red finishes, topped by thick black stripes and a red chassis. As good as this looks, we think the Italian giant could have slapped on some extra tidbits for an even spicier aesthetic. Since its debut in 2021, the Aprilia Touareg 660 has been one of the top players in the middleweight adventure bike biz. It goes fast, rides well, and promises exceptional off-road abilities. All this is now being carried forward to 2024, as the Noali factory has taken the wraps off the updated Touareg 660. Not a fan of the new shades? Then, you'd be happy to know Aprilia has also retained the 2023 colors. 
so you can get the motorcycle in acid gold, Martian red, and in deco Taljmist options. The first two have dual tone seats, color matched with the liveries. Nothing has changed under the skin. The Touareg 660 continues to employ Aprilia's 659 cubic centimeters, twin cylinder powerhouse. It produces 79 horsepower and 51 pound feet, all sent to the wheel via a six speed transmission. The engine is nestled inside a steel trellis frame that suspends on 43 mm Kayaba upside down forks and a monoshock from the same company. Both ends are fully adjustable, while offering 9.44 inches of travel. This is topped by 21 18 inch lace spoke wheels. Honda drops big CRF 1100L Africa Twin upgrades for 2024. All versions of the Africa Twin have received updates for 2024 with visual, mechanical, and performance improvements across the range. The legendary Honda Africa Twin is receiving updates ready for 2024, with changes to both the CRF 1100L and the higher spec Adventure Sports Edition. The changes for the coming year focus on styling, practicality, performance, and technology. With two bikes and a number of submodels getting updated on this one, we'll focus first on the updates that affect all the models, then drill down into the finer points of each updated machine. 2024 Honda Africa Twin updates applicable to both versions. Still instantly recognizable as an Africa Twin. The new bikes updates center around the front fairing and while they do alter the aesthetic they are also aimed at improving long distance comfort and helping to incorporate the 5 position. Adjustable screen. The 1084 cubic centimeters engine has also received updates for this year and boasts changes to the intake, combustion, and exhaust to produce more low and mid-range torque. And a 7% increase of peak torque meaning 112 newton meters 82.6 foot-pounds is now available. Peak power for both the CRF 1100L and the Adventure Sports remains the same as before at 75 kilowatts, or 100.5 brake horsepower. Honda has also fettled the DCT system of the bikes, and the focus was on matching the DCT shifting schedules to the new torque delivery, but also improving the rideability and feel of the system. The shifting schedules have been tweaked to facilitate earlier downshifts, and also better detect when the bike is taking a corner to try and prevent those mid-turn changes that some earlier DCT systems could be prone to. The Versus 650 motorcycle was created to conquer the city, or leave it far behind. Designed to conquer the urban jungle, its ultimate potential comes to life equipped with its long travel suspension and enhanced touring features that have the ability to transport you, your passenger and luggage to the next big adventure. Dedicated features like an adjustable windscreen, TFT color instrumentation with smartphone connectivity, LED lighting and Kawasaki Traction Control KTRC ensure you'll enjoy every ride. For a short office trip or a weekend away, let the Versus 650 be your ultimate travel guide. Comfort and Style All-day riding comfort. A slim, upright riding position offers maximum comfort for rides of any length. A short style fuel tank positions the rider closer to the front wheel for increased controllability and offers a greater choice of forward rearward sitting positions. Complementing the wide handlebar, 
The footbags are positioned low and slightly forward of the seat, offering a relaxed position while also enabling sporty riding. The seat's slim design in addition to the knee grip characteristics of the fuel tank afford freedom of movement, allowing the riders to change sitting position if needed. The stepped shape of the two-piece seat also provides support for the rider when accelerating. Added Convenience The windscreen and upper cowl offer considerable wind protection and add to the Versus 650 motorcycle's potential as a capable touring partner. The windscreen's four positions can conveniently be adjusted from the rider's seat. The total range of adjustability is approximately 80 mm, with the four positions spaced at 27 mm intervals. Conveniently, adjustments can be done by hand by depressing the release button below the instrument panel. Vision for the future, LED headlights add symmetry to the Versus 650 motorcycle's face. LED turn signals add a modern touch, contributing to the bike's good looks. Honda has submitted certification data in Switzerland for updated Africa twin models, with evidence of substantial changes in store for the Adventure Tour. The preliminary data is specifically for new Africa twin Adventure Sports models, with both a manual or dual-clutch transmission. The data is only partially complete, but what has been released indicates the Africa twin Adventure Sports is getting an updated engine and changes to its chassis. As of this writing, there is no data about updated versions of the non-adventure sports models, but we expect that will be available very soon. The certification filings list a new engine code, SD13E, for the manual Africa Twin Adventure Sports codenamed CRF1100A4 and the DCT version codenamed CRF1100D4. Since the 2020 model year when they changed from the previous 998 cubic centimeters engine to the current 1084 cubic centimeters displacement, the Africa twin models were certified with the engine code SD080. We can confirm the new engine will remain at the same 1084 cubic centimeters displacement and that the peak horsepower output remains certified for the same 101 horsepower at 7,500 RPM. But the torque output sees a jump from the current 77.4 foot-pounds at 6,250 RPM to 82.6 foot-pounds at 5,500 RPM. The engine isn't the only change coming. According to the certification data, the new model has a wheelbase of 1,570 mm. That's 5 mm, or 0.2 inches, shorter than the Africa Twins' current wheelbase, which has remained at 62.0 inches across all variants since the update from CRF1000L to CRF1100L for the 2020 model year. Those wanting a faster Multistrada than the V4S, Pikes Peak, Rally, and Grand Tour have had their prayers answered in the 2024 V4RS. Ducati is claiming a plainly bonkers 180 horsepower out of the $37,995 MSRP RS, which, unlike the aforementioned models listed above, uses the Panigale V4S and Street Fighter V4S's 1,103 cubic centimeters Desmosetis I straight ale engine as opposed to the ubiquitous 1,158 cubic centimeters motor. The RS gains the same high-flow air filter as the chart-topping Panigale V4R Superbike, 
and the billet aluminum SDME VOSBK dry clutch, but weight saving has been a main aim of the RS gain. To that end, there's 6 pounds taken off the now lithium-ion battery, a 5.5 pound lighter titanium subframe. And 6 pounds have been shed from the now forged aluminum Marcassini wheels, and as we all know, less unsprung mass means more fun in the corners. The RS gets every Ducati electronic gizmo you'd expect, adaptive cruise control ACC and blind spot detection BSD, Bosch inertial measurement unit. Four power modes with the extra race riding mode that gives the full whack of the V4 motor in all six gears. Four ECU modes of race, sport, touring, and urban. Traction, wheelie and engine brake control, quick shifter, and a 6.5 inch TFT display that allows phone mirroring via the Ducati Connect app. V4 Multis have always been good at e-dragging, but this one looks like it's up the ante somewhat. As for the pricing and availability, the 2024 Yamaha Tenere the 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Grey in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface. The T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals. The 2024 Tenere 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter. The T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. Ducati has just announced the 2024 Desert X Rally a souped-up version of the Ducati Desert X, made for more aggressive off-road riding. Thankfully there's more to the Ducati Desert X Rally than just its livery and high fender. Falling in with the trend of getting highly skilled off-road riders to race big adventure bikes and gnarly competitions, Ducati has already fielded the Desert X Rally in the Erzberg Rodeo. with five-time Enduro world champ Antoine Mio winning the twin-cylinder class. So it boasts a smorgasbord of upgrades over the base model Desert X. For starters, there's 20mm more suspension travel at each end, bringing the overall numbers to 250mm at the front and 240mm at the rear. The front end wears new billet aluminum triples, Gripping a set of closed cartridge KYB forks that sport a Kashima coating on the uppers and a DLC coating on the lowers. There's an Olean steering damper in play too.
Like the regular Desert X, the Ducati Desert X Rally has an aluminum swing arm, but the pivot point sits in a different spot. A fully adjustable KYB shock features a bigger piston than the base model's unit. With the suspension changes, the Desert X Rally's ground clearance now sits at 280 mm. Like its sibling, the Desert X Rally wears a 21 inch front wheel and an 18 rear wheel. But the Rally's wheels are built with billet aluminum hubs, Excel rims, and Pirelli Scorpion Rally STR tires, and its rear wheel is half an inch narrower than before. Visually, the Desert X Rally is recognizable by its striking, predominantly red livery, its one-piece Enduro-inspired seat, and its forged carbon fiber sump guard. It also gets adjustable CNC machine brake and gear levers. The Desert X Rally shares the Desert X's 937 cubic centimeters twin-cylinder Testostrata engine, good for 110 horsepower at 9,250 RPM and 92 Newton meters at 6,500 RPM.